Who's the company? Uh, it's Fargo. All that little fit up. Yeah, picked up the bot last year. Looking for a mug to go with it for those ultra light trips. I mean, yeah, I could drink out of this, but it was kind of silly drinking out of this big monster. Oh, that's a G7. Man. That's good. So what's for breakfast this morning, Barry? Got eggs and sausage. Sweet. And an open fire. Try to get us on the trail by like 8, 8.30. Right now, what time is it, Chris? 6.39. 6.39. No. It's a little bit cold right now, 54 degrees. It feels good around the fire. Is that temp where you want it to be for camping? Yeah. A little chilly. I've been wanting a non-stick pan that's packable. This is from PSI. It says it on the back. All my pans are not non-stick. They all stick. That's never fun. The old firebox is doing awesome. This is maple sausage. One of my favorites. I have some of this and some egg. We'll be in good shape. Ready for the river. Today we have 17 miles. Got about six hours of paddling. That one's done. There we go. Oh yeah. This is perfect. I really like the non-stick. I like this whole cooking setup. It's nice. The black is just from the grease getting too hot. It's not that bad. Your hammock, but when it comes down to it, I've done all the research. When it comes down to it, the difference between a hammock setup and a tent setup is your underquilt. Because a hammock, tarp, and line are lighter than a tent, nine times out of ten. In a one man tent. How heavy is your pad versus how heavy is your underfoot? That's right. You want some nan bread with this? No. I'm not usually big on breakfast. I know on a day like today, I'm going to need it. But... I'm going to scrap this down. I'm going to be back. It is crazy foggy. Uh, probably is not going to be a rush to get on the water. You can't see, but maybe 50 yards in front of you. Get out in the water a little bit. Now 
nice and clean. The boat's still here, that's nice. Getting shallow. Yeah, this is a class one. It goes a sharp turn right. We got class twos right behind this. Oh, so we we're right here, and then we're gonna jump on this class one or class two, which is the yellow. What you look for is a V in the water. That'll be like you could go right there, you can go right here. So that's what I'm gonna probably do right here. Keep the nose straight and boom. Make spin around and make sure he's okay. I got more rapids coming, I gotta pay attention to. Just get out of the water real quick. Or not out of the water, but there he is. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. These are just class ones. You definitely don't want to get in it to it sideways like I'm doing right now. Let's straighten it up. Not too bad. It's actually really fun. Hey, hey, hey. You're splashing like that. There's a rock right there. Don't hit, don't hit. There you go. We just got through that class one. You got a class two coming up. Just keep your nose straight. There we go. Just don't want to hit those things crazy like. You okay? Okay, he's good. He is good. That's fun. I wish there was more like that, LOL. All right. First time using that head cam, which is really cool. I'm definitely enjoying that. But we got a class two coming up. All right, we got some class ones coming up and some islands. Take large channel. Okay. So we are gonna put this on and let's see what happens. We got some buddies, new friends. Yeah, don't go that way, which looks fun. Is that a hammock? Yeah, somebody's camping over there. That's what I'm talking about. These class ones are, I mean, I, I don't know what class ones mean actually, but it's not really that that crazy. Only weird thing, when you get caught pinned up on something, it gets weird. Look at that. Somebody has a tarp up. That's what it is. Uh-oh, uh-oh, they're hitting. Better at this than we are. Uh, well, I don't want to say I am, <laughs> and then I it's pretty shallow here for sure. Uh, uh, come on, uh, there we go. Thanks, think small, small thoughts. Think small thoughts. I think we did all right. You're killing it. Uh, look, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on. Oh, oh. We better be over there. Come on, come on. Man, he killed it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Oh. Now it's pushing me against the, the wall here. No, wow. Okay. I wonder if the other side would have been better. Yeah, they're the smart guys. And he nailed it. Now we're hustling. <laughs> that went too bad. The cut left. How cool is this? You probably want to fish right here. I want to feel that rock. Uh, come here. What type of rock is that? Definitely cool. Feels good to be in the shade. It's not super hot, but just direct sunlight. Wow. 
It's cool. I freaking love it. Plus twos. Okay, I see the canal over here on your right. There's our buddies. It's lunchtime. Let's see how the Lono does on some rapids. Looks shallow. Yeah, I'm hitting a little bit. Oh, oh. This ain't too bad. There he goes. Nice. The wind picks up in these rapids, which is pretty cool. Easy peasy. Now this is gonna push us against the wall. You see that? Woo! Yeah, man, that was awesome. That was fun. And the boat's dry. Yeah. Got a little bit more. Coming up, keep the nose right. Ah, got me. <laughs> Feels good though. That was fun. That was super fun. That was cool. Big old wave. I got splashed on a little bit, but it, it felt good. All right, we got some little class ones, and then I think we got a cliff coming up. Let the Lono go first. Let's see here. Oh yeah, he's doing just fine. A little bit of a drop. Oh, look at that pretty cliff. Wow. That's fun. This is crazy fun. Nailed it. There's the cliff. Did you feel confident going down there? Yeah. yeah, this is pretty. For both the sides, it's surprisingly agile. Yeah, 12'6. 12 six. 12 foot six. Is it about time for lunch? Is What time is it? Yeah, it's 12.42. 12.42. Let's go. You want to do right there? Yeah, we can do right there. Yeah, we got some shade. Good Eddie's spot. We got some shade. What are you thinking over there? Or you lead the way. Show me what you're thinking. There we go. Let's have some firewood. All right. Gee, could we have 
pick the worst lunch spot? This place is pretty. I, mean, I don't know, bro. This is kind of sketchy. Yeah, firebox don't need a lot of firewood. This stuff is perfect. Yeah. All the stuff that's on the ground. Your hashtag is fire nice outdoors. Yeah, outdoor gear. You'll see the fire hand. I need to get a lighter. Come on in, stay a while. <laughs> you got some people paddling by. We got maybe another hour of paddling, maybe two. There you go. I've just went around and just kind of combing the beach with driftwood. Get this fire going. There we go. We've got skewers, ribeye skewers wrapped in bacon. That sounds really good. For, and we got some more naan bread. Just a kind of a light lunch, I guess. We've got maybe two and two hours before we get to camp. All right. What I like about the firebox is, well, it's, I mean, it's crazy versatile. I could do anything with this. It keeps the ground from being scorched. We're gonna let this thing cook. What a beautiful place. Always got to pick the, the way the wind's going. Let me grab these bad boys. You're going to record me dying. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The sizzle nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It'll shrink in on there. Firebox is putting in some work this weekend. Yeah, it is. Bacon wrapped ribeye for lunch <laughs> at this view. Perfect. There you go. What you think? Yeah, sure. Outstanding. What a great day. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go swimming later. I'm not really hot. Just uh, you know, direct sunlight. I'll put it in the fire. Mm. It's a little steamy in the sun. There you go. Nan bread is good. Probably wrap that. Is that pull it in? Is that a hot rail? Yeah. 
bacon wrapped ribeye man bread taco. Taco. Yeah, let's do that. Come on out of there. Highly recommend, sir. Yeah, man. We're defining the term camping food. Uh -huh. <laughs> One meal at a time. That cooler's had ice in it for what, three days? Yeah, two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. And it's still solid ice. I mean, or it's not solid ice, but it's still full ice. Yeah, and it's in direct sunlight. Hmm. Just a little snack. Well, till dinner tonight. Snacky snack. Yeah. That's the first time I've done nan bread in the woods, and it's. It's, it's yeah. It gives you that bread craving, but a little bit more volume and chewable than just tortilla shells. Right. I didn't even need to drink anything so juicy. You got one more? You got four? You got four, I got four. Don't mind if I do. Is it a fish? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fish just jump. This would be a great place to cast. We've seen some fish jumping while we sit here. Mm -mm. All right. We're going to knock out some dishes. We'll get back on the water. We got, what, two more hours before we get to... About six miles. Six miles. Where um, if you ever want to eat here, this is uh, mile marker 23 on the Upper James. Looks like you can catch some fish here too. All right, we are on our second. Dad, run it backwards. It's so still kind of mess it up. You're gonna run it backwards. All right, here we go. Come on. He's cutting it as sideways. Oh, oh, oh. That's it. We did it. That, I mean, this is nothing for that boat. Wavy. I think it's getting low on air. Ah, uh, that I don't know. You, just ever so, I mean, it might have been a quarter of an inch. It was just enough that it gave me that feeling like it was just kind of cold. Yeah. You did a good job going through those rapids. But it is an inflatable, so. All right. Whoa. The next thing we got, 25 and a half, and we got a historical stone pier. I need to be paying attention. It's kind of shallow. Wow, in some spots, some rocks. All right, we are almost here. This is actually us right here. We just got to find, find our spot. All right, we are on, and it's in a little rapid, which is really crazy. Ugh, come on, spin me around. If you want to glamp, like, you don't want to bring tents or anything they have they have like little tents right here there's chris get it get it get it get it i got a hammock out we got some sun today you're going to have that chocolate tan though for the fall <laughs> Let's skip the sad part. Okay, he said scoot over. Let's go out here. He's having a walk his. There we go. Hey, where's nine at? All the way down? Okay. So little camping buddies. This has been an amazing trip. And I didn't know it, but this used to be a canal. This was built for transporting. Did you pass that first concrete pad? Yeah. Right around the corner, another one. And that's nine? Yeah, nine's headed right there. Okay. You're the man. 
You're my favorite. Just don't tell your friend that. So he'll get jealous. He's struggling a little bit. Come on. There it is. He's coming. So he said, skip this ramp and go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Not this one, right? No, follow me. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, smells so good out here. This is us. Nailed it. Y'all already had showers and everything. Already, already looking good, feeling good. Boom. Ten is right there. They were dropping all these boats off tomorrow. They said they have a big cord coming. But they won't leave until, they won't be here until at least nine. Oh. So as long as we're out here by nine, I was like, yeah, we'll be gone. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So we can put our boats pretty much anywhere as long as we don't block the road. Okay. Just sun drained, I'm tired. Uh, yeah, seven. Yeah, seventeen hour, seventeen hours, seventeen. Seventeen hours, seventeen miles from eight thirty till five o'clock. Yeah, five. Eight thirty to five, and we stopped to have lunch, did some swimming. This river, because it is guided, is actually fairly trafficked. What do you think we saw? Maybe thirty. Yeah, twenty thirty boats. And it's neat. I think that's part of neatness as well you know, meeting people on a river when everybody's going the same speed of a kayak right yeah it was no motorboats there's no way you could get a motorboat necessarily out here oh let's see <sighs> yeah that'll work you got mosquitoes yeah i'll grab my knife and split some firewood legs have gotten a little bit of sunburn the i think the name of the campsite here is called horse gate um, I need to back up a little bit. Or, or, oh, oh, this thing looks pretty cool. I'll just take this, put it right here. And it'll protect the blade if I don't hit the ground. There we go. We're getting some firewood for the, uh, we're having lamb, lamb steaks tonight. i tell you that cooler is absolutely amazing. Three days and we still got ice in it. We're in direct sunlight, we're kayaking. That's pretty impressive. That is gonna be 100% my go-to. It's a, like a five gallon bucket. How cool is that? That's got the thick walls. You can sit on it. It's not really heavy. Horseshoe Bend Campground. Horseshoe Bend Campground. That's probably enough right there. And then we'll just start getting a little bit bigger stuff. Put this over here. Let's put the firebox grate together. Move this out of the way. Chris is saying we got three class twos, one class one, and we're out. Tomorrow's gonna be eight miles, eight mile trip. Tomorrow, we will be out of here. There we go. I like this. Keeps the fire. Oops, from scorching the ground. There we go. It's just been a amazing day, but I am um, just sunburnt, a little bit tired. It's, um, Flip this around like that. Where'd my little pin go? There we go. Boom. There we go. And put the other one in on this side. Oh, here it is. There we go. Just take these. This is these little pins here to lock so the grate can go down on it. There we go. A little bit of an awkward gone looking thing. There we go. Perfect. Chris, can you throw me a lighter and then throw me the fat lighter? It's right on, over on the other side of that water. You see like a bag? It's in a Ziploc bag? Big chunk, little chunk. Little chunk. That's what they call me in prison. 
Good old chunk. All right. It's nice having an assistant. Got you, boss. There you go. We'll get this fire going. And can I throw this back to you? I don't need it anymore. Good. He caught it. Nailed it. You know what? Well, that'll be fine. I'm trying to get some coals going right now. All right, I'll let this go take off and I'll be back. Got myself a little cutting board there. Got some instant, got my spoon and my knife. Nothing, I'm pretty much good at the moment. You know what? Because I'd like to be a little bit higher. I'm gonna bring this. It's crazy comfortable. Yeah, it's got a little thing. There we go. It's got this little soft thing. And it can be up higher because that's kind of low. That heat and that sunburn, let me know. Yeah, you got, your legs got it. Uh, yeah, it's letting me know. All right, boom. Back up just a little bit. I'm going to take this. This is for our mashed potatoes. Put it right there. This is lamb. And it is falling apart, lamb. There we go, get over there. Set this up for a plate. I like this, nice little setup here. Yep. Not sure I'm not burning this bad boy. I might take this off her. Hey, hand me my um, towel. Thank you, buddy. Let me grab this and get it off for a second. It's getting a little bit rowdy, so I'm gonna pull it off for a second. Control it, heat a little bit. There we go. It's just gotten a little bit hot. So calm it down a little bit. Just wait on that for just a second until this water's boiled, ready to boil. Those fats get it to go, get a little rowdy. Well, I like how that one's starting to make a mashed potato bowl. You smell it, man? I do. It smells so good. Make sure everything's good. Keeping it low and slow. the fats that are just firing it off. She's hot. Be a little bit warmer tonight. 63 will be the lows. Last night was 54. Four. Yeah, it's almost a little bit Quite warmer. Pleasant. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. This is fatty, so I just gotta be careful. I'll cut that little piece off right there. Cause that is done. Definitely a trip for the books. Definitely cool. And I didn't know that this was a canal trail. It's a um, aqueduct, the railroad took it out of business. Hiker Midnight's gonna come early tonight. Early? Early? Yeah. Hike at midnight is usually when the sun goes down. It's like eight, 8 30, 9 o'clock. It's you're just exhausted. But sometimes when you get a fire going and just sit around it, it just seems like time kind of speeds on a little bit. I'm trying to keep my eye on on them. The fats is good for the knife. This knife, this is all high carb. The fats from the animal keeps it from not resting. I think we're about done. 
and put that right there. Pop this on and put this on here to get this water boiling. And then we'll get some man bread going. I like my little cutting board here, little <laughs> table, little prep table. These are awesome because they have the little fill lines in there. They can tell you where they put the water. It's this instant roast garlic mashed potatoes. Let those rest. Get this water to boil. Do you have your um, your plate sitting here waiting for water to boil? Taking forever. We'll lighten our load because this is pretty much all our food. We got breakfast in the morning, which is eggs and sausage. That is it. Then we got to get home. Then we'll have a uh, cheeseburger time. We'll get out of here. Grab something to eat. It's only what probably a two-hour paddle. Eight miles. Eight miles. Two, three rapids that are get us pushed up yeah. pretty quickly. Two class threes, class twos. All right, we're starting to boil. Don't pour your water out just yet, cause it, you don't know. Sometimes it winds up being too thick. Did you like the thickness of it last time? The, yeah. It winds up getting way too thick, so I add more water to it, which this is perfect, actually. I'm not gonna add any water to that one. This one needs water. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna move the fire around a little bit. I need to, I'm gonna do the nan bread now. This is garlic roasted. It smells good. I'm gonna put that right there. Where's this? There it is. Just trying to heat it up. Oh yeah, that's perfect. There we go. What I'll probably do is throw everything in here and then we'll just meet up out of there. there. Yeah, okay. just break it. There we go. And my mouth is watering. Pour a little bit of hot water. Almost. There we go. One more little piece that broke off. If you ever tried nan bread, it's nan, because that's Indian for bread. So when you say nan bread, it's nan. You're saying bread bread. It's hard not to say nan bread. All right, let's eat. I got this, I got this. All right. <clears throat> drink oh. take that one there this one? yeah you got your little pocket knife lamb nan bread and some mess of potatoes and some creek water you just say you need a big old steak knife yeah well i'm doing it with the uh i was just cutting with that oh okay. the, the wrong one i was like this thing is not cutting good it's not very sharp let's see how this is Looks pretty good. Crystal. Other than that bone I didn't cut off. That's pretty tasty, sir. Nailed it. Nailed it. This is delicious. Really, really good. Let me try this nan bread. This is a garlic roasted. I'm gonna put it in a little bit of lamb juice. Lamb juice. Wow. That's good. I we already know what this tastes like. Mmm, taters. It's gonna be hard not to pass out after this. Yep. Oh. Solid day paddle. Absolutely. Banging lunch. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. I mean, seriously, if you can ever get bacon wrapped ribeye on a stick. Cooked by Barry. Cooked by Barry. <laughs> you're in for a treat. And put it next to that view on the on the river. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. And if you've seen any of my exploits, you know I eat very well in the woods. Wow. This Turn is... me on, sir. I'm gonna have to start purchasing this stuff for, for trips. Man, bro. Mm -hmm. Like the girl roasted better than the, the the other one was just nat, nat or what's it called original. Can you tell the difference? I mean, I'm never going to be a vampire because I eat so much roasted garlic and garlic is not even funny. So definitely tasty. Well, we're going to eat this. Um, you want a cup of coffee after this? We might just have a cup of coffee after. Yeah, this. we might need a cup of coffee. We still got to set camp up. 
What time is it? 7.30. 7.30. It gets dark <laughs> in 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And we're up in the mountains, so it gets dark quick. And we've been paddling with a couple of guys that we kind of have made friends with that we might go by and say hey to, or they might come by and say hey to us. Who knows? Yeah, they're cool. You going tarpless tonight? You putting the tarp up? No, I'm not going to put a tarp up. You did. Tarp up. You said I did it last night because I just didn't feel like taking it down right. after I prepped it. I just don't think I'm going to put it up tonight. A zero percent chance of rain. That's a really small chance. The other part of that is the you know, humidity. You can wake up just completely soaking wet, but there's not a lot of humidity. But it's calling for rain. Two o'clock. Two o'clock tomorrow. tomorrow. We should be off the water by then. Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. Yeah. There you go. We'll see. We'll see y'all in just a little bit.